As a manufacturer in the video piloting industry, I get many requests from multi-copier pilots about can I make my antennas any smaller or any better form fitting on a multi-copter. Well, when it comes to UHF control, many multi-copter pilots have chosen the monopole and found out that it causes extremely short range due to problems with using the ground wiring as a counterpoise. So my first solution, of course, was to use a proper dipole, but just to make it flex up on landing. This is the semi-rigid dipole. When you land, it folds up and then flexes back to proper shape. While that was a great solution for the 400 class, 500 class, and larger multi-copters, those of you who flew mini multi-copters, well, that was still a problem. And for you, I bring you the coil-loaded dipole. The coil-loaded dipole is a full proper dipole, it's just the counter element is coiled up in a nice compact coil, so when you land, no part of the antenna hits the ground. It's nice and small, and it's a little bit lighter. Now, unlike a monopole, this has no counterpoise problems. It's not using the ground wiring, so you are going to get much longer range and less interference out of this antenna than you would a monopole, yet the size is just about the same. Now, the top end of the antenna is flexible, so in a crash or in the case it gets contacted by the props, it will simply flex out of the way. Now, this element is braided steel. Your propellers are not likely to damage it, so don't worry, it's hard to damage. Now, polarization on this antenna rests with the element, so this would be vertically polarized and this way would be horizontally polarized. It doesn't matter which end is up or down, just so long as it matches the transmit antenna orientation. And that's the other nice thing about this antenna. It does great as a nice, compact, efficient transmit antenna. I might be crazy and keep your wings in the sky.